hello welcome to my youtube channel and uh, my name is Sumit and this is my second video related to the click view scripting basics so in this video I will walk you through with how to use the if statement in click view scripting and how to create a hard code column for your data set and the reason behind it so let's see if there is a scenario where we can use if condition so scenario is that I got a requirement that whenever you see the position name as level 3 sales representative or level 2 sales representative or level 1 sales representative so I just wanted to change it to this short names for example level 3 sales representative change it to L3 L-3 level 2 will change to L-2 and level 1 will change to L-1 so let's see how to do this in click view with the help of scripting so for this I'll go to script editor open the script editor and just after this position I will be writing the script so what will be the script code over here the script code will be I writing if condition if position equal level level 3 sales representative so then it should be changed to L3 this is one condition now I want to change this condition also this position also level 2 sales representative change to L2 so I add a comma here and I write a new if condition so I'll just copy paste this condition over here and I write here if this is level 2 sales representative it will change to level 2 and again for third one so I write here position equal to level 1 sales sales representative sales representative it should change to level L1 representative L1 and if there is nothing so it should remain the position so bracket three bracket close or three if condition close one two three and it will be displayed as a new column so new position and comma so this is how to write the multiple if condition within the script in click view so let's see if it's working fine or not so I click on save and reload this script so you see the date uh, the script has been reloaded but still it is displaying the same old values why because what we have to do is we have to go to its properties and add a column explicitly so I right click on property and add a new column position and I delete this old position okay le let's leave it click on ok so now you can see over here we have a new column added over here and the fees are populated over here L3 this column level 3 sales representative change to L3 level 1 change to L1 level 2 change to L2 so this is how you can use the if statement let us see how you can have a hard coded column so hard co basically what is hard coded column hard coded column in data set is nothing just a column containing a value which is either calculated or coming directly from some data source so let's suppose we have separate list for separate products and this list is associated with a product for sports gear anyway let's say this list is populate uh, is associated with a sports gear now when you import data here there is no particular column about it that 
and we are not able to understand or there is nowhere mentioned that this list is populated to which product. Maybe in data source you have the separate list for separate product category or for different product category. So to identify that which list is related to which column we can uh, we can have a hard coded, coded column. For that we will just do some changes in the script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new column here hard coded column here and that column will be display the list okay so I'll click on edit a script and just after this work phone I add a new comma and right here uh, sports equipment as sports equipments and bracket close there is no need of comma because it's the last one and save it and reload it. but the column will not add over here because we have to add it manually over here so right click properties and I add a new column sports equipment now I have the value populated for all of the rows so this is how I can have a hard coded so I hope you may able to understand why do we have the hard column list so this is pretty much I wanted to give you an idea about the basic stuff in scripting in click view I have few more things to discuss about the click view scripting so I will meet you in the next video with some new and interesting topics till then bye bye and have a great day ahead and if you like my videos you can visit more video you can visit to our youtube channel have a great day ahead bye bye